Welcome to the Illinois Association for College Admissions Counseling Virtual College Fair. Thank you for joining us. A few housekeeping announcements before we get started. You can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time. Your camera and microphone are off, so the panelists cannot see or hear you. This is just one of many different sessions happening, so be sure to check out additional sessions and sign up for more. And this presentation is being recorded and will be available within about a week at strivescan.com slash Illinois. And now I'd like to turn it over to our first presenter from St. Mary's University of Minnesota. Take it away. Hi everyone, thanks for joining us tonight. I am going to try to share my screen here. There we go. So I'm Brenda Jones. I am the Associate Regional Director of Admission from St. Mary's University of Minnesota. That means that I don't live where this beautiful picture is of uh, St. Mary's Hall. I actually am from the Chicago area and I work with students in Illinois. So St. Mary's University of Minnesota is located in Winona, Minnesota. Winona is down in the southeast corner of the state of Minnesota. We are actually only 18 miles into the state. So if you were traveling from the Chicago area, you would actually be driving about four to five hours, depending on where you live in the Chicago area. We are actually right across the Mississippi River from La Crosse, Wisconsin. In that part of the state of Minnesota, you'll find the landscape is quite a bit different than what it is in Illinois. Along the Mississippi River are um, really high hills that we refer to as the bluffs. And St. Mary's actually sits up in those bluffs. But the town of Win Winona sits on the Mississippi River and is a town of a population of about 26,000. Within the town of Winona are three universities. So St. Mary's is one of those. And between all of those universities, there's about 11,000-ish students that come to Winona every year. So the college students actually make up about a quarter of the population of Winona. So lots of different things to do in the Winona area, but specifically outdoor recreation. So we like to refer to St. Mary's as a destination campus. So in Winona, there are two lakes and the Mississippi River. So lots of opportunities for water activities, whether that's canoeing, kayaking, paddle boarding. And if the water isn't your thing, there are the bluffs, which um, students use to cross country ski, sled, hike, rock climbing. But the town of Winona offer, offers also a lot of cultural experiences. So they have a fantastic art museum and they also have many different festivals like the Beethoven Festival, the Shakespeare Festival. So like I said, lots of different cultural experiences. Downtown Winona actually features some really quaint boutiques and um, coffee shops, um, sandwich shops, just some locally owned restaurants that you can, that you can go to. So the uh, campus in uh, St. Mary's in Winona is strictly undergraduate students. So that means that those are students that have graduated from high school and are working towards their bachelor's degree. There's about 1100 students on our campus and kind of a half and half male to female ratio. Um, we do have a graduate campus, but that's located in the Twin Cities. About 93% of our students do come from the Midwest and about 60% of those students come from Minnesota, Illinois, and Wisconsin. About 85% of our students live on campus. All four years, you can see in the picture, about 100 acres is the academic buildings, the residence halls, the athletic playing fields, and then about 350 acres is up in the bluffs. So students can take advantage of you know, our trout stream, cross-country skiing, like I said before, hiking. Um, we do have a disc golf course on campus. So St. Mary's kind of sits on the edge of town, but it is within walking distance of some restaurants. And we do have a shuttle that comes to campus and takes students to other areas in town. 
I would say the typical student at St. Mary's tends to get involved in a variety of things. And they might be joining one of our organizations or clubs, such as um, student activities committee, student senate, lots of opportunities for um, community service, and again, lots of opportunities for outdoor recreation. We are an NCAA Division III school, so about a third of our students are student athletes. We have intramural sports and we also have club sport opportunities. Some of those are men's hockey, water polo, ultimate frisbee, Nordic skiing, and even ballroom dancing. If none of those things interest you, we do have a strong theater and arts program. Many of our students are involved in theater, music, or art, and there are scholarships available for all three of those fine arts. Lots of different St. Mary's traditions, but I do wanna kind of focus on academics right now. At St. Mary's, students are able to major in whatever they want to major in. However, we do have a three plus two physician's assistant program that is selective and does require an additional, docu additional documentation when you are applying. Financial aid, students are awarded um, merit scholarships, out-of-state grants, Catholic high school, alumni, all of those things are awarded at the time of admission. And then in addition to that, we do look at your FAFSA and award additional money according to your family's financial situation. So we are featured in, on, on a lot of different um, social media. I will put my contact information in the chat so that you have that, and I will turn it over to the next presenter. Thank you. Next, we'll be hearing from Wartburg College. Great, thank you. I'm just um, getting ready to share my screen. All right. Um, thanks, Brenda. My name is Kristen Taphorn, and I am the Regional Assistant Director of Admissions at Wartburg College, and I live and work with all students in the state of Illinois. I'm also a proud Wartburg alumni, um, so I'm going to give you a brief overview of Wartburg College and what we have to offer, but I wanted to point out that we are doing on-campus and virtual visits, so after this, um, I hope you'll consider a more personalized visit with us. All right, so some fast facts. So Warburg is a small private liberal arts school. We're located in Waverly, Iowa. Um, so right on the border of Illinois, we're about four and a half hours away from the Chicagoland area. We have about 1500 students in our student body and our incoming freshman class this year was just over 500 students. Our average class size is 19 and our student to faculty ratio is 11 to 1. So what this means is you'll get to know your professors really well. One of your professors in your major will be your academic advisor. Warburg has over 50 majors and you can see some of the most popular on our, your screen. Uh, we're also a liberal arts institution so you'll take classes that fulfill our essential education requirements. So you'll take a variety of different classes plus electives earning you a well rounded education with critical thinking skills and knowledge outside of just your major. We have a 441 academic calendar so you'll take four classes in the fall, four classes in winter, and then you'll take one class exclusively for the month of May, and we call this May term. So during May term, half of our students will stay on campus and the other half of our student body will travel with their class and their professor. We have many different opportunities to travel domestically or abroad. There are classes that go to New York City or abroad, you could travel to Europe with the Castles and Cathedrals course or drawing and painting in Italy. There are opportunities to go to Costa Rica, Guyana, the Amazon, um, and many of these travel opportunities don't have to be specific to your major. And if you're looking to get away for a semester in an urban area, we have urban studies programs in both Des Moines, Iowa and Denver, Colorado. Denver, we call Warburg West, which is really popular with our students and you can go for a summer or a semester. Um, during this time, you'll take an urban studies class with our Warburg faculty and there are over 100 different internship opportunities out there, like working in a hospital, marketing for a football or baseball team. Um, you could even do student teaching or get field experience hours. 
All right, so uh, the top picture you can see athletics, so student involvement um, and athletics is a large part of our campus culture. Warburg has a tradition of athletic excellence and we have over 650 student athletes that excel in the classroom and in a sport. Warburg has nationally recognized coaches and we have won more than 25 NCAA Division III national championship titles in our athletic program. In the bottom picture, you'll see our music ensembles, which allow our students to embrace their passions. You don't have to be a music major to participate in music also. We have 18 different music ensembles that tour the US and abroad, and they performed in famous castles and cathedrals around the world, as well as famous concert halls in the United States, such as Carnegie Hall. Or if music and athletics aren't your thing, there are still many different ways to get involved on campus. We have over 80 different clubs and organizations you could get involved in. As a first year student, you'll attend an involvement fair with one of your classes to learn more and to sign up. There are organizations covering everything from academics, honor society, service, performance, diversity, political, and more. And if you don't find something you want to be in, you can just start your own organization. As a college of the ELCA Lutheran Church, we also have an active spiritual life community and many other ways to get involved in campus ministry. A few highlights, I'm not gonna go through everything on this slide, but I just wanted to point out that we have a 97% success rate among graduates. Um, so we survey our students post-graduation and this percent comes from job placement or grad school placement. And if you come to Wartburg and stay at Wartburg, 92% of those students will graduate in four years or less. And then we're really proud of our 82% med school placement rate, which is more than twice the national average. Um, we are in a small town, but we do have students representing 38 different US states and 61 different countries, in addition to a student population representing many different Christian and world religions. A few updates, um, some things that are new at Warburg. We have a new exercise science major with a brand new lab that's coming um, this spring. So we've already done construction and it should be done shortly. We have a recent graduate programs, um, music therapy, this is the first year. And then we have leadership starting next year. Uh, we also, this was our first year for clay target sports in our athletic program. And we have construction currently going on for our two story weight room in the W, which is our wellness center. Um, all of the construction for the exercise science major and uh, the weight room will be available for students starting next year. Okay, so briefly the admissions process, Warburg, at Warburg our application is free. We're also part of the Common App, but there's no deadline, non-binding agreements, and we have rolling admissions. We have many different scholarship opportunities, but with acceptance, you'll at least start at a $26,000 merit scholarship. We also have uh, various visit days. Um, this year they were virtual, but uh, scholarships for those, and then nights virtual scholarship days to earn you additional scholarship money, you'd have to qualify for these. Um, different ways to contact us. We're on all social media. And then you could also join the Warburg community on the Zimi app. And please reach out if you have any questions. Thank you. Thank you. Next, we'll be hearing from Lindenwood University. All right, good evening. I am Keela Ross, and I am a freshman admissions counselor at Lindenwood University, and I'm going to share my screen. Hey, my name is Brian, and this is my real life at Lindenwood. This is where I live. This is where I get to learn. This is where I perform. This is where I hang. 
And this is where real life opportunity knocks. This is real life. This is real life. This is real life. This is real life. This is real life at Lindenwood. All right. Lindenwood University is uh, in the St. Charles area, which is about 25 minutes from St. Louis, Missouri. We are four hours to Indianapolis, four hours to Louisville, five hours to Nashville, five hours to Chicago, and four hours to Kansas City. This is a portion of our campus. Um, we have 4,100 plus undergraduate students on average that join our campus each and every school year. We have 47 states that are represented and 70 plus countries that are represented. We also have a career center that we love to send our students to because there they can learn about interviewing as well as uh, we have Dress for Success that rent out no charge to students that may not have what they deem as appropriate for interviews. So we make sure that our students are ready for that next chapter in their life. Our undergraduate degree programs are split up amongst five different schools, but what is not on here is also our pre-professional programs, which include pre-dentistry, pre-nursing, pre-veterinary, and three others. Our student professor ratio is 17 to one. We don't have lecture halls. Um, you will never be in a class that is more than 35 in the class. And our professors really uh, set time aside at least 10 hours per week to meet with the students in their class, as well as academic advising. At Lindenwood, we believe in activities. 80% of your time is spent outside the classroom. So we like to help you fill that time with memories and fun. We have over 90 plus student organizations, as well as student government, and also six on-campus fraternity and sororities. We also love our NCAA sports division two programs. And we have um, Academic Success Center for NCAA student athletes, expanded athletic training facilities, and 43,000 square foot three-story facility, private locker rooms, and a host of other events. Attending Lindywood, estimated cost of attendance at this time for 21-22. Flat rate tuition is 18,540. Room board is 102. Total of 28,740. We have um, no application fee, but there's a $200 enrollment deposit as well as a $200 housing deposit. And we also are um, <clears throat> test optional. We were that before the pandemic, which means that if you don't wanna submit a test for admissions, you don't have to do that and it would not be held against you. We also have the FAFSA and our school code is on here. Our admissions at lindenwood.edu. You can visit campus at any time. We, both, we do both on ground as well as virtual. And I will include that in my tag at the end. We have several scholarships available, both academic, athletic, fine and performing arts, inclusivity leadership, legacy, need-based, Sibley and sibling. These are all outside of what is produced from your FAFSA. So each student also receives a merit scholarship um, based on their academic when they are accepted and admitted to Lindenwood University. So we hope that you're ready to jump in and become a Lindenwood Lion with us. Again, as stated before, I'm a freshman admissions counselor. My name is Keila Ross, and this is my phone number as well as my text number and my email. I hope you enjoy. Thank you. Next, we'll be hearing from Drake University. All right, hi everyone, sorry about that. My name is Grace Baumgartner and I am an admission counselor here uh, that works with students in various parts of Illinois. 
um, here for Drake University. I am also joined in the chat uh, by my colleague, Veronica McLaughlin. And so if you have any questions for us, please feel free uh, to put those in the Q&A and we would be happy to answer those for you. So a little bit about Drake University. We are located in Des Moines, Iowa, which is going to be about four and a half, five hours away from the Chicago suburbs, about four hours from Peoria. So not too, too far, but also not too close. So a few quick facts. So we have about 3,000 undergraduate students and about 5,000 students total, including some of our grad students. So we are smaller end of a mid-sized liberal arts institution, meaning you know we have both big school and small school perks. So focusing on the small school side of things, we have an average class size of 21 with a 10 to one student to faculty ratio with no teaching assistants. So you're never going to be taught by a grad student. We have over 100 different undergraduate programs for you to choose from, and you will start your major from day one, no matter what your major is. And if you aren't exactly sure what you want to do yet, that is absolutely okay, because one of our number one programs for incoming first years is open and undecided. Some of our top majors here at Drake include actuarial science, marketing, psychology, politics or political science, we have a two plus four direct admit uh, pharmacy, pre-pharmacy program. Uh, we have a law school on campus. So we have a three plus three law program with that. Journalism, athletic training, um, many different uh, you know, humanities and different majors within our College of Arts and Sciences as well, um, as well as education. So on the big school side of things, we have over 140 different clubs and organizations for you to join here at Drake. So I promise you will never be bored from intramural and club sports to Greek life and professional organizations that have to do with your major to music and media organizations, religious and service based organizations, whatever you're involved in in high school, there's a good chance that we have um, an equivalent club for that here. We are also a division one institution. If you follow Drake men's basketball at all, we actually just made it to March Madness. So very excited about that, go Bulldogs. But a perk for you is that Drake students get free tickets to all of our games and our sporting events. So we have about 70% of our students coming from out of state. A lot of uh, those students, or a lot of those states being Illinois, Minnesota, um, and definitely a lot of Midwestern states but you will know students from all over the country and all over the world. So, you know, we're not a commuter campus, meaning there are people there on the weekends and there are things to do. And then, you know, I assume one of the reasons you're going to college is to get a job after graduation, right? Well, Drake students do just that. Uh, about 98% of our students last year got a job within six months or went on to further schooling. So like I mentioned, we are located in Des Moines, Iowa. And a lot of people are like, Des Moines, okay, I know nothing about it, what's there? Well, we are actually the fastest growing city in the Midwest. We have so many opportunities from fun social things to do to professional opportunities as well. We are the largest of two four-year undergrad institutions here in Des Moines. And we are about a five to seven minute drive away from downtown Des Moines. And in our more immediate area, we are still surrounded by different restaurants and businesses. And Drake students get to ride the Des Moines public bus for free with their Drake ID. So if you wanna go downtown and grab a bite to eat um, at Zombie Burger, or if you wanna go see the Iowa Cubs play or wanna go to the farmer's market, which is the second largest farmer's market in the country, or you wanna go see a concert. Um, but we also have so many great professional opportunities um, we are surrounded by, you know, different hospitals and clinics if you're into the science side of things. Um, we have great partnerships um, with some big companies like Principal Financial Group, Wells Fargo. And so we have a lot of opportunities for our students here. So to apply, we have no application fee and you can apply through the Common App or our, Drake, uh, our private Drake application. August 1st is when our application opens and December 1st is our early action priority deadline, meaning we just recommend getting it in 
by that date for the most consideration for scholarships and uh, financial aid so you don't miss any of those important scholarship deadlines. But March 1st is our regular deadline and we have rolling admissions. So um, meaning that we are always accepting applications and we will give you a decision within about three to four weeks of you submitting your application. We are a test optional school. So we will holistically review your application no matter how you apply. And we recommend, you know, if you think that a test score or an essay or an interview, however you think you can best represent yourself to us, that's how we recommend applying. And just one last thing, all students who are admitted to Drake receive a presidential scholarship, of 21 to $25,000 for each of your four undergrad years. And we do have a fair amount of other scholarships that you can apply to as well. So um, we have many different visit options for you to check out on our visit page. And I will also put my contact information in the chat. Thanks so much. And I hope you have a great rest of your night. Thank you. Lastly, we'll be hearing from the University of Missouri. Let me share my screen with you all. Um, I'll begin by introducing myself a little bit. Um, my name is Carly Stern. I am one of the three Chicago regional reps here for the University of Missouri. I am not alone today though on the back end, kind of hoping to get some questions from you all in that chat box today is my colleague, Stephanie. She's another one of our Chicago reps here. We also have a third rep in Chicago as well. As we'll jump into things, we'll begin by talking a little bit about where we are located. University of Missouri, or as we like to call it, Mizzou, is located in Columbia, Missouri, which is in the center of the state, just about two hours from both Kansas City and St. Louis, and then about a six hour drive from the Chicago land area. Columbia is home to about 117,000 permanent residents. So this does not include our student body. One really big perk about Columbia is the fact that it is adjacent to campus. So what you see here in my background on the screen, that is the quad. If you are standing on the quad, it is just a five minute walk to reach that downtown area. Downtown has a ton of different amenities for our students anything from a Walgreens and a grocery store to get those necessities, hiking, biking, and running trails, live music venues, art, mil art film and music festivals, uh, of course, tons of different chain restaurants, but kind of one of the best things, in my opinion, about Columbia is the fact that it has so many locally owned restaurants, boutiques, and coffee shops as well. You will never be bored in the city of Columbia. It really kind of is that quintessential college town. More about the campus as a whole, we are home to about 30,000 students. Of that 30, about 23,000 of those make up our undergraduate students. That remaining seven is comprised of our graduate and professional students. We are fortunate enough to have both a law, vet, and med school actually located on one campus. So nothing is going to be a commute away for those professional students. We have students coming from every county in the state of Missouri, all 50 states in the United States, with Illinois being our second most popular state next to Missouri in over 120 countries. So even though you're coming to school in the middle of the Midwest, you really are going to be making friends that are coming from all over the place. Another thing that we really like to pride ourselves here on at Mizzou is that we are both the land grant and AAU institution for the state of Missouri. What this means for students is that they are going to get a top tier research education for a land grant price. When it comes to the actual application process, we do have a test optional route, both for the senior class this year, as well as the seniors going forward, in addition to our regular admissions criteria. When actually applying, you can apply either through our website or through the Common App. Neither one is preferred over the other, whichever one is easiest for you. We are also on what is called rolling admission. So our application will open up on August 1st of your senior year, you'll have all the way up until June 1st of that senior year to apply to Mizzou. So definitely lots of time to apply there, although we do recommend trying to apply earlier on in that fall semester. That just gives yourself a little bit more opportunity when it comes to some of our scholarship programs. We have over 300 different degree programs on our campus. This is something that you will select when actually filling out that application. Some of our most popular degree programs include journalism, business, engineering, health professions, and nursing. Although there are tons and tons of things to choose from here. 
students have a really great opportunity on campus as well to go ahead and add on minors or certificates. It's also super easy to change your major because as we all know, not 100% certain of what you wanna do right away. We also have what's called the Discover program, allowing you kind of to navigate those career fields and making sure you establish a major that suits you best. In addition to career paths and majors, we have over 600 different clubs and organizations for our students to get involved with. I bet if you're doing something right now, either in your community or in your high school, there's a chance for you to do it on campus too. Anything from intramural sports to a Quidditch team, to a ballroom dance club, to a rodeo club, there is something for everyone. We are also a part of the SEC, the Southeastern Conference. And we have 20 NCAA Division I sports teams on our campus as well. Another thing we really like to pride ourselves on is the way that we base our curriculum through the Missouri method. This was started by our journalism school, but has now come part of the curriculum for every single degree program on campus. That bottom right hand photo, that is KOMU, which is the only NBC affiliate station ran by students in the nation. This means that our journalism students are broadcasted all throughout mid-Missouri. This doesn't just stop there though. We have nursing students getting around 720 clinical hours by the time they graduate, education students getting in the classroom as early as their sophomore year, ending that senior year with a full student teaching position. So no matter what degree program you choose, you will be sure to build up that resume while you are here at Mizzou. When we are talking a little bit about scholarship options, there are a few different ways for our students to get scholarships. We have both automatic, departmental, and competitive awards. When it comes to those automatic awards, we will accept test scores for those all the way up through the July test date of your senior year. So if you have the opportunity to do so, continue and continue to test, we will super score for those awards as well. But the best way for an out-of-state student to save money is through our residency program. We are super fortunate here in the state of Missouri to have a fairly easy residency process where if completed during their freshman year, students can start their sophomore year at an in-state rate, saving close to $17,000 a year, making this probably one of the most popular programs for out-of-state students. We have tons of visit opportunities as well, whether you are able to travel to campus or not. Um, of course, tons of virtual ones that you can do um, online. And last but not least, uh, I will put both mine, Stephanie, and Maria's contact information on the screen here, and we will stick those in the chat box as well. Thank you. I just want to invite all of the reps to come back on and do a round of Q&A. Um, so in the same order you presented, you could just share what advice you would give someone going through the college search process. Oh, hi again, Brenda Jones with St. Mary's University of Minnesota. I think the, the number one thing that I would recommend is that you work with us. I mean, we are hired by our universities to help high school students, you. So we know that your high school counselors are really busy and we're experts in the college process. So um, take advantage of us helping you with anything that's confusing or scary or exciting. We're here to help and we love connecting with you. We're just sorry that it can't be face-to-face -face right now. Hi, Kristen with Warburg College. Um, I would recommend, you know, definitely looking at a variety of different schools. And if you have the opportunity, definitely try to get on as many campuses um, as you can and talk to students and student ambassadors. And then certainly agree with Brenda, work with your admissions counselor as well. Hi, Keila Ross again at Lindenwood University. And um, I have to say both Brenda and Kristen, um, what they have said already. Um, I also would like to encourage you to remember that while it is an exciting time of uh, part of your life, it is scary and it can be overwhelming, um, but definitely take advantage of those that have become allies, both in high school as well as admission counselors. Um, as they stated, we have been through this um, and we deal with it on a daily basis. There's really, I always tell my students, there's never a dumb question. It's just an unasked question. So ask all the questions that you need to ask. Um, and definitely as many campuses that you can go on virtually or in person, do that because it gives you a feel and it actually does help with the, um, when, you're, when it's time to make a decision. 
definitely does because and have a notebook so you can really write down those things that stood out at the different campuses and when it's time you'll be able to make that choice that's right for you Hi, this is Grace with Drake University again. I want to echo what everyone has said, and I really want to emphasize taking advantage of the opportunities that the different schools are presenting to you, whether that is visiting on campus or visiting virtually, checking out virtual tours, or does that school have opportunities to meet with faculty from the department you're interested in, or opportunities to, to connect with current students. And you know, if it comes down to it's your senior year and you're stuck between three schools and you have no idea how to pick, great, visit again or do another virtual visit again. And don't be afraid to ask questions. This is everyone has said many times, we're here to help you. Hi again, this is Carly with Mizzou. Um, of course, as everyone has said, we are all going to be great resources for you all um, as you're kind of asking all those questions, doing all your virtual visits. Another thing I think would be really great for you all to kind of make sure you're doing is get on schools mailing lists. Um, so you're receiving information from them, whether that be email or physical mail, um, so that you're staying on top of any new updates, new programs that they all may have. And then trying to connect maybe with other students that are from your high school that also attended those universities that you were looking at. Um, they're going to be really great resources for you because they were really just in your shoe maybe a year ago or two years ago, um, you can definitely get some students' perspectives from them as well. Awesome. Um, it looks like we still have quite a bit of time, so I'm just going to ask another question um, and ask you all to share what is your favorite or event or tradition that takes place on campus. So um, we'll just go in the same order again. I think my favorite tradition is right before winter finals, we always have a midnight breakfast for all the students that's prepared by the faculty. Um, that's really fun. And, and because it's right before holiday break, they do bring Santa. So I think that's that's one of the, my favorite traditions at St. Mary's. At Ruperg, my favorite tradition is outfly, which is um, a surprise day off of class. So at uh, like six o'clock in the morning, um, the drum line runs through the dorms and knocks on everybody's door. And if the student body all show up at the victory bell, the president of the student body and the president of the college announce outfly. And then all the professors serve breakfast for the students in the cafeteria. And then there's games and stuff organized on campus um, all day long. So it's a really fun day in the fall. All right, well, I'm kind of at a disadvantage because I'm fairly new to Lindenwood, but I will say every sport event is an exciting event. I'm telling you, from um, dressing up, painting faces, um, free food, free giveaways, not just Lindenwood gear. We have different um, companies that are from the area. And when I say the term turn up is totally redefined on Lindenwood University's campus. So um, it lets me know that I definitely uh, picked the right place to work for. My favorite tradition and event would be the street painting part of the Drake Relays. And if you don't know what the Drake Relays are, it's the second largest track and field event in the country hosted right here on our campus every, every April. It's kind of like a second homecoming week for us. We have athletes um, from all over the state, you know, high school college athletes um, from all over come, as well as Olympians. And so it's a really cool multi-day track and field event. Um, but to kick the relays off, students will paint um, a square, different clubs and organizations all paint a square on this painted street in the middle of campus. So it's really cool seeing all of these different clubs and organizations of all different parts of campus come together, but then it turns into a giant paint fight afterwards. So it's a lot of fun, um, a lot of students participate. My favorite tradition at Mizzou would have to be homecoming. Uh, we are the birthplace of homecoming. So this started back on our campus back in 1911. Um, so it has come a really long way over the years where I'm sure you all see in high school, if you get to celebrate, it probably only lasts a week. At Mizzou, it lasts the entire month of October. Um, anything from the largest student ran blood drive for the Red Cross, a student ran food drive. Uh, we have house decks and a step show, skits and dances. 
the parade, we announce royalty, and of course the weekend ends in a football game. It is by far my favorite uh, weekend of the year, and this year it happens to fall on my birthday. So I am very excited to get to campus for homecoming this year. Um, so yes, definitely my favorite tradition. Awesome. Well, thank you all for sharing, and thank you everyone for joining us. Um, when you go to close this window, there will be a link to a very quick four question survey. And we appreciate any feedback you can provide. Also, this is just one of many sessions being hosted. So be sure to sign up for additional sessions. And in about a week, you'll be able to find this session's recording as well as all of the other sessions recording at stridescan.com slash Illinois. So thank you everyone. Have a good rest of your evening.